This is going to be the morning energizing class. Tuck the tailbone in, lengthen in the spine, place the hands into the namaste. That's the sun salutation class with the stretchings. For people who doesn't have time in the morning but still want to receive all purpose of yoga and be toned and make the day really great. Move the hands to the side, sink down with your feet, feel the ground, lengthen through the crown of the head, feel the energy is coming from the sky and the energy is coming from the earth. Sweep the hands up and send the energy, hands to the chest, into the namaste, to your heart and through all the body. And one more time, breath in, hands up, palms touch, exhale hands to the heart center move the hands wide and twist to the right look over the right shoulder only the upper body move inhale center exhale to the other side again gaze over the shoulder twisting opening exhale lower the hands down inhale hands up, exhale flat back, hands lower down, inhale look up, exhale hug your legs and then move the right leg back and the left leg back into the plank, lower your knees down, move the hips forward and get into the half of Chaturanga all the way down to the belly lifting up on the inhalation through the cobra and on the exhalation into the downward facing dog chest is moving towards the thigh your heels are sinking down to the mat lengthening the spine and step with the right and left feet forward inhale look up exhale move the body closer to the legs and inhale flat back hands up and hands into the chest move the hands back slightly arching exhale lower into the legs inhale flat back hands on the shins and then on the exhalation step with the right leg back look up shoulders backward stretching the neck and stretching our hips and then move the other leg, plank, half of the chitranga through your knees, inhaling to the cobra pose, tucking the toes under, landing into the downward facing dog, gaze between the legs, lengthening the spine, really move the hips up, your belly in, and then step with the right leg forward, stretch and looking up. Both legs forward through the shin bones, look up, exhale, nose to your knee, inhale, flat back, arching back, exhale, hands into the chest, inhale up, exhale, lower down, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, step with the left leg back, look up, right leg back into the plank let's go to the chaturanga to upper facing dog and meet to the downward facing dog feel how the hamstrings are opening the spine becoming straightened with each time we do this the hips are going higher and higher and then step with the left forward look up right forward Ardha Uttanasana to the Uttanasana and inhale and float back arching back exhale hands to the chest and a little bit reset into the Tadasana inhale sweep the hands up arching back exhale lower the hands down to the mat head touch inhale look forward exhale step with the right back and lift into the high lunge, tailbone down, tuck under, maybe look up here, maybe sit lower, the knee is not going over the ankle, 
hold the pose and hold the balance exhaling hands to the plank lower down chaturanga inhale through the upper facing dog exhaling Adam Mukhasvanasana look between your legs and press the floor away from you straighten the spine gaze forward right leg step forward and let's get to the high lunge keeping the balance tailbone in back leg strong move the back heel away and lower the hands down left leg forward Ardha Uttanasana into the Uttanasana inhaling hands up exhale hands to the heart and again inhale hands up over the head exhale nose to the knee inhale flock back look up exhale step the left leg back and then move the left knee down sinking with the hips lower to the floor stretching the leg breathing and then let's get to all four stuck the toes under go to the plank pose from the plank lower down into the chaturanga inhale to the Uddhva Mukha Svanasana hold exhale Adha Mukha Svanasana belly in heels down really press for every fingertip until the tailbone move the energy and then step with the left to the front move the right knee down this time and lower the hips down pressing into the left knee sinking with every exhalation lower and lower to the floor stretching and then move the back leg forward inhale look up exhale hug your legs come closer to the stretching and inhale hands up exhale hands to the chest namaste and then let's move a few times from side to side to reset and then let's create more heat in the body so let's go inhale look up exhale lower down head to the knee inhale Ardha Uttanasana into the Uttanasana and then from here bend the knees and jump back to the Chaturanga or plank inhale through the upper facing dog exhale downward facing dog hips up belly in chest towards the thighs pressing through the palms breathing calming down look forward and from here bend the knees and jump to the front of the mat inhale look up again exhale hug the legs lower down inhale all the way up on touch exhale hands to the namaste and then go into the chair sit lower and then move the hands forward and down into the stretch inhale flat back send the shoulders back exhale jump back into the chaturanga inhale through the upper facing dog exhale downward face and then step with the right forward left flat on the mat inhale into the warrior one hips are facing forward back leg strong press into the outer edge of the back foot exhale lower the hands down into the plank and let's meet to the chaturanga upper face downward face exhale and then step with the left forward warrior one keep raising the hands high and lower down the hips move the hands back plank chaturanga upper face and downward facing dog for a few breaths here we're still creating the heat so try to calm down for every downward facing dog we do that's pose for rest in the sun salutations try to use that time 
to come back to your normal breathing, to come back to your normal heartbeat. And bend the knees, jump, look up, hug the legs, and let's get up through the chair pose, hands up, sit lower, stand, exhale, hands to the prayer. And again, through the chair pose, lower the hands up, lower down into the stretch, inhaling, look forward, exhaling, jump back to the chaturanga inhale through the upper facing dog exhale downward facing dog and move the right leg up and move this right forward get to the warrior one exhale hands back plank pose chaturanga inhale upper facing dog exhale downward facing dog left leg up left leg step forward right foot flat on the floor warrior one hips forward look up and exhale lower the hands down step back to the plank move lower to the chaturanga inhale upper face exhale downward facing dog and let's get the breath to the normal look between the legs start to breathe deeply calming down and then look forward and jump forward inhale exhale move into the stretch and then bend the knees hands up chair pose inhale stand exhale lower the hands into the prayer inhale sweep the hands up exhale lower into the middle and from the middle lower the hands down and then look forward and step back with both of your feet to the downward facing dog and let's drop the knees down to the floor and go to the quick child pose with hands back along the sides relax we're almost finished the practice reset feeling the sensation observing and then let's see with our legs straighten into the Pachamutanasana. Sweep the hands up, spine is straight, and lower the hands. Rub the shin bone or ankle, or get the lock with the hands. Stretch up and lower down into the stretch. Every time we are getting to the stretches, just remember all we need to do is just flex the pose, flex our toes, and breathe. Just the breath, every exhalation is moving you a little bit more and more into the stretch. So don't push yourself, relax. Try to get relaxation as possible. And then move the right leg closer to your body. Keeping the left hand up and move the left elbow of the right knee stretch yourself up through the crown of the head and twist looking over the back shoulder over the right flex the toes on the left flag every exhalation twist more and more soften the belly that's really important to twist from the spine without engaging the core muscles just Breathe and then inhale, release the hand and let's move the left leg closer to the body. Sweep the opposite, the right hand up and move the right elbow over the left knee. Stretch up and look back, really twisting through the crown of the head. Breathe in, breathe as deep as possible. Release the twist, place the soles and feet together and stretch through the crown of the head. On the exhalation, lower down, maybe help with the elbows to make the 
knees wide, the hips more open. But this is the morning practice. You don't have to go too low. Just go wherever your hips feel good to. That's the morning stretch. We're all sore in the morning. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about how low you go. Just explore the movement and enjoy the opening. Inhale, move up and let's lay down on the back. Finally, hug your knees into your chest and then move your knees down. Lift the hips up and it is in the, in the fingers under and moving the shoulders closer to each other. Squeeze the butt. That's really important. Lower down, exhale. Hug the knee into the chest again. Maybe roll from side to side, massaging the lower back. That's a great feeling. Sweep the hands wide to the side, palm facing down. Twist into the right, look over the left. Keep the shoulders on the floor. Inhale, knees up, exhale, knees to the other side, gaze the opposite direction. And then inhale, legs up, maybe grab the mat, hands along the sides, lower down your legs with the core work. And then release the feet and palm and go into the quick Shavasana. I wish you a great day full of nice things and energy.